When faced with an infection or a virus, the body temperature often goes up, resulting in what we know as a fever. Now, some of us might go to the medicine cabinet or the pharmacy and reach for a drug to try to reduce the fever. But actually, research has shown that there is a better way. Stay tuned to find out more. Hi friends, I'm Erin Hollander. I think many of us are aware that a healthy body temperature is generally 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. But when it comes to a fever, the body temperature can rise to 100 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. Symptoms of a fever can include headache, flushed face, sweating, body aches, nausea, little or no appetite, and sometimes diarrhea and vomiting. Barbara O'Neill shares in her book, Sustain Me, a fever is not an illness. A fever has a purpose. It's actually the body's process created by God to help fight and recover from disease. In health centers all over the world, for hundreds of years, fever treatments have been used to treat disease. For example, fever baths and steam saunas. In fact, here at Living Springs Retreat, part of our detox program involves giving our guests daily steam saunas. They sit in the sauna for nine minutes and then hose down with cold water head to toe for 30 seconds. This process is repeated two more times so that the total number of times spent in the sauna is 30 minutes. The goal is to keep the head cold and allow the body to sweat out the poisons. These methods will raise the body temperature temporarily by two to three degrees centigrade. Did you know that the rise in body temperature has several effects? The first is circulation of the blood increases dramatically, causing a boost of oxygen, water, nutrients, and white blood cell delivery to every part of the body, and more waste is taken away. The second reason is that the rise in body temperature causes skin pores to open and increase the elimination of waste products through perspiration. The third reason is that bone marrow begins to produce more red and white blood cells. The fourth reason is that the immune cells are recruited to the site of an infection, for example, where they are exposed to high temperatures that can burn and kill the harmful pathogens, including bacteria, viruses, and fungi. So considering all of this, the three things that we can remember during a fever is that a fever is your friend, that water puts out the fire, whether it's internal or external, and the third reason is that when all the waste is burned up, the fire goes out. Evidence from randomized controlled trials on critically ill patients suggests that intervening to reduce a fever does not improve a patient's survival. On the contrary, aspirin and paracetamol will suppress antibody responses to infections. Force reduction in body temperature to levels lower than normal by using intravenous or mechanical cooling has been shown to cause harm. Here are the benefits of a fever. Fevers help the immune defenses. The heat stimulates more immune functions. Heat directly inhibits or harms the pathogens. And a fever is used to identify a sick individual so that they can take the necessary precautions to rest and not try to be around other people, avoid social situations. So a fever is, is considered a good thing However, it's very important to keep the body well hydrated and to assist the fever by giving it a way to pull the heat out of the body. Keeping the person well hydrated with water is crucial. Sip on ice cubes can also be helpful if the person is not nauseated and can't take in much water at a time. The only part of the body that cannot handle high heat is the brain, but if the body is well hydrated, that will protect the brain cells. If no water can be taken by mouth, a simple enema of a cup and a half of water for an adult or a little less for a child can be administered. This is a quick way to hydrate the person. Enema kits, also known as douche kits, are an easy to use unit convenient for cleansing the bowels in the privacy of your own home. You know, often the problem with a fever is that the body cannot dispel the heat quickly enough. But water is the best conductor of heat and cold so it can be used to pull the heat out of the body, thus reducing the heat or fever in the body. 
Here are three different ways water can be used externally to reduce fevers. Number one, a hot foot bath with a cool cloth over the head can often bring a fever down to reasonable temperatures so the person is more comfortable. Sit in a chair with both feet in a tub of, of water. You may also do this treatment in the bathtub. This can be done by putting a small tub in the bathtub while you sit on the edge of the tub. You know, feet are often cool when a person has a fever, so begin by using warm water and slowly increase the temperature. The hot foot bath is continued for about 20 minutes. Number two, laying in a tepid or lukewarm bath will often bring the body temperature down a bit. This water will feel cool to the person with a fever, but that tepid water can again draw the heat out of the body. This treatment is usually continued for about 20 minutes. And the third is the sponging technique. It's very simple and it can be helpful for a child. Lay the child in their underwear on a dry towel and cover them with another towel. Take a bowl of lukewarm water and a small cloth. Lightly squeeze the cloth and sponge an arm, then dry it and place it back under the towel, keeping the rest of the body covered while sponging. Continue until the whole body has been sponged. After the front of the body has been completed, lay the child on their stomach and repeat the process for their back parts. The sponging technique can often reduce the temperature and allow the child to sleep. Sometimes this may need to be repeated a few times until the fever has passed. You know, in the case of sickness, we can remember that under the right conditions, the body can heal itself. Read and claim the promise in the Bible found in Psalm 10720. He sent forth his word and he healed them and he delivered them from their destructions. God is our healer and he can work through simple remedies like water. Remember that spiritually, we can drink from the well of salvation that Christ freely offers to all of us. Thank you for watching, friends. You know, your support means a lot to us. So if you were blessed by this video, remember to like it and hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.